Greetings, brethren. I was uh, watching uh, What Do You Mean? And uh, he covered this one uh, guy who calls himself a pastor. His name is uh, Brandon uh, Robertson. And uh, he makes a, a really blasphemous statement that Jesus was a racist. And uh, I think uh, I, I wanted to cover this because I think this should be condemned all across the board and all across the board of Christians and across the board of Christianity that uh, that uh, this idea that Jesus was a racist should be condemned because it's a really blasphemous statement that uh, he was. And I think this guy, Brendan Robertson, should be marked and avoided, not listen to his teaching, and cast out of the church as a heretic. Um, let's go to share. Um, yeah, this guy, Brandon Robertson. First of all, he's a gay writer, activist, and supports the LGBTQ, and he calls himself a pastor. And in, in that of himself, according to Holy Scripture, according to Bible, that... Um, that's an abomination of itself. I'm not saying this. Don't be mad at me. Be mad at God. Because we say, uh, because the scripture says it's an abomination. But uh, there, there's great news that like any other sin, uh, you should repent of that action and of that desire like any other desire. It's a lust, it's a lustful desire, like any other uh, sin and desire that we should put away from ourselves, like gluttony and uh, alcohol, alcoholism and fornication. You know, the, these lustful desires, you put it away from that because they're sinful. So don't be mad at me. I'm just preaching what, I'm just saying what the Bible says. So it's condemned here in 1 Corinthians 6, uh, verses 9 to 11. Know ye not, the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves and mankind. Nor effeminate, or abuser of them mankind. So yes, like any other action that's uh, it's a sin and like any other lustful desire that you mean like any other you repent of it and there's good news nor thieves nor covetous nor drunkards nor violers nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of god but when you repent here's the good news and such are some of you so you don't become that uh you you change away from that, but be ye washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the Lord Jesus by the Spirit of our God. So let's go to the, the video. Did you know that there's a part of the Gospel of Mark where Jesus uses a racial slur? In Mark chapter 7, there's the account of the Seraphonician woman, a woman who is Syrian and Greek, both of which there were strong biases against within the Jewish community. And she comes to ask Jesus to heal her daughter who's possessed by a demon. And what is Jesus' response? He says, it's not good for me to give the children's food, meaning the children of Israel's food, to dogs. He calls her a dog. What's amazing about this... Yeah, he called her a dog. <laughs> repent of your blasphemy. I mean, <laughs> repent is just such a blasphemer, a heretic. 
I mean, what got me upset here that uh, he calls Jesus racist, which would mean that uh, he's preaching that he is himself a sinner. That's why he what's, what's get me upset that this blasphemer, this heretic, is teaching people that this is this that he has to repent of a sin, thus not making him God. This is what you get. This is what you get, this wishy-washy Christianity, this progressive Christianity that imports society, those ideas that the LBQ are not sins, you can, that, uh, that, that it's all right, that, um, that this feminism, that, uh, oh, he stood, the, the lady stood up to the male oppression. No, he did not say that sort. How can you live with yourself, call yourself a pastor, when you call our God a sinner, which thus not making him a perfect sacrifice? You're preaching people, well, a man atoned for your sins, not God, that a sinner has atoned for our sins. account is that the woman doesn't back down she speaks truth to power she confronts jesus yeah stand up to the male impression this kind of wishy-washy progressive christianity and says well you can think that about me but even dogs deserve the crumbs from the table her boldness and bravery to speak truth to power actually changes jesus mind jesus repents of his racism and extends healing to this see what he just said Repent of his racism. Thus makes him a sinner. Thus you have no salvation. Thus he's not God. This is what uh, the, the stat, sad state of Christianity, of contemporary. Oh, it's just his opinion. It's just opinion that Jesus was a sinner. It's just his opinion that uh, that he is not God. Thus not atoning. It's just his opinion to blaspheme that called our Lord Savior a sinner and a racist. Oh, it's just his opinion. It's just opi his opinion. No, no, it's not correct. It's heresy. It's not correct. It's blasphemy. It's not correct. I'm sorry. People get mad at me. The, 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 the wishy-washy Christianity and the progressive and the contemporaries, oh, it's just his opinion. No, you, you just call Jesus Christ not God, that he didn't, that a sinner atoned for our sins, that he is a racist. Woman's daughter. I love this story because it's a reminder that Jesus is human. He had prejudices and bias, and when confronted with it, he was willing to do his work. And this woman was willing to stand up and speak truth. Did you? Anyways, let's go to scripture. Um, okay. Let me see if it's on there. Okay, we read Matthew 15, verses 21 to 29. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan, thus making her a Gentile. Uh, thus the idea to the Jewish religious people that they're unclean or a dog. And uh, she understood that. They have that understanding, this kind of first world, 24th century, wishy-washy feelings noise that they, that, uh, oh, he was racist. No, she understood that that's what she was saying. Yes, I'm a Gentile. That's all I was saying, that, uh, yeah, I'm the Gentile. So a Canaanite woman, a woman Canaan, came out of the same coast, uh, cried on to him saying, 
Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David, my daughter is grievously vexed with a um, a woman at Canaan came to the same coast, cried unto them, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David, my daughter grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her not a word, and his disciples came and sought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. So the disciples say, it says this. But he answered and said, I'm not sent. So he, he turns around and says to, to the woman, I'm not sent, but unto the lost sheep of Israel, house of Israel. And then she came and worshiped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It's not meet to take the crumbs and cast to the dogs. So people of this society, oh, how dare Jesus call her a dog? Um, it's not meat. It's not meat that they take the, the bread or me go away from the children of Israel when I was sent to the house of Israel to attend to, to the Gentiles, the dogs. And he said, and she said, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from the master's table. And, she, and he uh, says, then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, be unto thee, even thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole that very hour. And Jesus departed from thence, and came nigh unto the sea of Galilee, and went up to, into a mountain, and sat down there. So, if he was a racist, if he were a racist, he wouldn't have healed the woman. And he didn't change his mind. It's just, he was saying, it's not meat for me to, he, she was testing him. He didn't, you know, it's not meat for me to go away from the house of Israel to attend to the Gentiles. And, he's, and she, she answered um, in, a, in a faith uh in a, she answered in faith, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from the master's table. I, I'll get you, I'll, I'll take whatever you, you're willing to give me. I'll, I'll take whatever you're willing to give me. And she, he answered, great is our faith. So yes, I will grant it unto you because you show me how great your faith is. So, so healing her daughter is racist. I, I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's racist that he changed. I don't know, but um, that that proves that he wasn't racist, you know. But anyways, but the proof that he it was the it was so that he his earthly ministry first went to the Jew, then to the Gentile. He, his his earthly ministry was focusing on the house of Israel, he says, I'm not sent unto lost sheep of Israel. But he also says in John 10, 16, that proves that the, his main focus was Israel. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them I must also bring. They shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. So the Gentiles shall be crafted in. Also, he, uh, he commands his disciples, Matthew 28, uh, 28, 19, go therefore and teach all nations, all nations, baptizing in the name, name, baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. So teach all nations. So the, this was the scope. His focus, main focus is the lost sheep of Israel. It was just his focus was on the house of Israel, not to the Gentiles or the dogs. The, 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 mm. Anyways. So, yeah. I just wanted to cover this, you know. I mean, I see other people covering uh, this guy. Um, 
Why do you think it should be condemned all across the world, uh, across the board of Christians and Christianity that um, that uh, Mark avoided and don't that uh, he did not speak truth. He just spoke uh, his activist language into the text and uh, that uh, he should be marked and avoided. Uh, the, this is not true. He, that um, in this blasphemer, he says, well, Jesus was a racist, making, and he must repent of his, right. he repented of his right, racism. Thus he repented of sin. Thus he was a sinner. Thus he wasn't God. So you see here, why I'm mad, because the people were like, oh, but the temple temporaries, uh, why are you so mad? Um, yeah, just called Jesus Christ our God, a sinner, thus not making him God, thus a man atone for your sins, uh, is unperfect man atone for your sins, thus making the gospel null and void. And you have people dressing up proclaiming themselves to be pastors like this, preaching this, that Jesus was a racist and all kinds of nonsense. Yeah, I don't really usually cover other things out of my scope, but um, I wanted to cover this. I think it was important to, to, to do this anyways. All right. Um, all right, I just wanted to show you this real quick and cover it and, you know, so thank you and we'll see you next time and take care. <laughs>